G'day and welcome back to UC Mad Scientist. This is a little bit of an off the cuff one today. Uh, I recently uh, published an article on Sonus SBC with its ASM module having a hidden VGA port. Now this was covered by um, one of my colleagues Damien a few years ago uh, being hidden behind the access panel here and I went through the process of reverse engineering it and coming up with this cable. Now, uh, I posted that online and then one of my followers asked the very, very important question. Can it run Doom? Let's find out. Okay, let's get started. Here today, we have an SBC1000 with an ASM module. Now, you can tell it has an ASM because of this label here and the extra USB ports. That means there is an ASM card installed which acts as its own little independent server just here and because of that there is a VGA port hiding behind this cover. Start off by lifting it up from the bottom, there are three little tabs you might need to release first. But you'll see that there are two USB ports and just to the left a 2x5.1 inch header. That's our VGA port that we'll be tapping into today. So like I mentioned before we have the VGA port here along with the two USBs. Because this is just a computer basically inside the case, it'll boot anything that we can put on a USB key. So what all we need to do to get this up and running is to connect to that VGA port with a custom cable and then plug a bootable USB in. So let's get to that now. Okay, well let's give this a shot then. So over here I have a copy of Rufus, which is a utility for flashing USB keys uh, with whatever ISO images or what we like. Uh, and I have a USB key inserted into my machine we're just going to quickly flash it with FreeDOS. And over here, we have a copy of the game from archive uh, from an archival website. So let's quickly clear out this, uh, this USB key and make it bootable. Okay, now that's completed. We can see if I open up that drive and I'll bring it over here we can see that we have some files on there already what we'll do is we'll just copy the game in there this USB key is a little slow And we'll rename it appropriately. We'll eject that and try it in the machine. Okay, well that's flashed. I've got my USB key here. I've got a keyboard and mouse receiver plugged in and my keyboard and mouse. We'll plug this in and start the unit up. It should by default boot up off the USB key. Now I will say these things are incredibly loud. So I am going to dim down the volume for the next bit. I'll probably do a voiceover explaining what's going on. Contact! And you can see we've booted straight into DOS. So if we have a look... Uh, we have our files. And there we go. Do running on a telephony router. Okay, it's a couple of days later, and editing James has realised that he lost some footage of uh, my my favourite game as a kid running on it, uh, Duke Nukem 3D. So yes, to answer your question, Chris. It can run Doom. It can run Duke 3D, and I even got it to run Unreal Tournament uh, at one point. Uh, before its hard drive failed. So I hope you enjoyed this little uh, ride into making telephony appliances do what they shouldn't be able to do. I will do the YouTuber thing and ask you to, to click on subscribe down the bottom, give me a like if you like the content. If you didn't like the content, hit thumbs down. Um, it, it tells me to do better. Uh, otherwise, 
You can check out an article about it. Um, all the information will be below. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. <sighs> I forgot to turn the microphone on. Oh, I'm recording. <laughs>